Well, hey everyone, how's it going? So, it is the day after Christmas, finally. And, uh, everything that's hectic has now calmed down. I've got more time. Still dealing with, or still dealing with, um, some family issues, but getting more time at home, time off work. But, um, kind of wanted to show you, um, I, I get asked, I've been asked about this LiPo battery, uh, quite a bit. Or um, life po for um, uh, lithium iron, and this is a temporary thing. I actually have somebody who's going to be making me um, some aluminum uh, bars that will actually connect these uh, together, so that I can really crank on these batteries. Right now, this wiring isn't really adequate to be able to bring it up to the 240 amps or so. That you can get out of these things. Um, this is a 12 volt battery. It's actually 3.3 volts each for each cell. But uh, how I charge this thing, you cannot just hook this up to a regular charger, even a smart charger, and then it be done. You're going to damage the battery. So I've been asked a lot how to charge these things. I've got some people interested in buying these. Um, battery management systems are actually good to have. Uh, some batteries, especially the 12 volt batteries, the ones that are all encased, the ones that you just basically drop and go, drop in your car and things like that, they already have built in battery management systems. Not all, but most. So you can, in fact, hook them up to a standard charger. As long as it has amps and the proper voltage, then the battery management system will actually be responsible for limiting current and making sure that it's charged properly. Here's an example of a battery management system. This particular one isn't actually compatible with these batteries, but this is just an example. Powerjack actually makes these, and I do have another one that's much, much larger than this that they're actually going to be um, including in all of their battery packs. But that's kind of what you need. It has to monitor each one of the batteries or each one of the cells individually to be able to properly charge it as a whole so what i actually use to charge this battery so that i can use it to say test this particular inverter on a load test is i actually use a vmax um life uh, battery charger so this is a smart forge stage charger and it's specific you can see specific for life batteries uh, lithium iron so this is designed specifically for lithium iron batteries and that's really important that you get something that's actually designed for um, lithium iron batteries if you don't have an actual uh, charging a battery management system like I showed you here it's crucial that you get a charger that understands and is able to charge them properly um, so basically, uh, every night I go through and uh, I charge this thing up to make sure that the batteries are fully charged. And then when I do my load tests on 12 volt batteries, or excuse me, 12 volt inverters, this is actually uh, what I use for the load test. Because my power supply that I use to actually test the inverters to make sure they run and work, this thing only goes up to 25 amps at 12 volts it can actually go 25 amps to 60 volts but 25 amps to 12 volts is not that much that's only a few hundred watts so uh, i use this to really crank on these inverters to test them to make sure they're working fine um power jack is going to send me another one of these so that i can do the same for 24 volt batteries or 24 volt inverters but um, this is perfect for load tests and the reason is because this thing will have an output or handle an output of about 250 amps at 12 volts for about an hour uh, is approximately its limit. Now it's actually closer to like 15 minutes. And the reason is because these are 100 amp hour packs. So you have 100 amp hours total. You got 100 amp hours here. No, it's not 400 amp hours. It's still 100 amp hours each because you're actually doubling the voltage each time which then keeps your amps the same so you go from 3.3 6.6 .6, 9.9 and then 13 volts is where you go up to so increasing the voltage 
keeps the amperage the same. So this is still a 100 amp hour pack at 12 volts. So at 258 uh, amps, you're looking at, you know, 15, 20 minutes and the battery would be completely drained. But that's not the point. Uh, 258 amps is an enormous amount of watts on the uh, DC side. So that means that I could really crank on these inverters, especially, you know, something like this. The 3,000 watt inverters, the 5,000 watt inverters, I can, I can really load them down to make sure that they work properly using this. And the best part is, is it won't damage this battery, which is just awesome. Now, you guys know that I have my solar batteries, also made by VMAX, and they have about a 30 to 50 amp maximum draw per hour. Otherwise, you start to overheat and cause damage. With this, 250 amps is where I can go, and uh, so, yeah, that's a clear advantage to having the lithium-iron batteries. Not only that, but you can bring them all the way down to basically flat, and bring them back up, and there's no damage. They still have 10,000 or more cycles, and I've kind of been um, in, entertained by some of the um, comments, and especially the video that I posted of this particular battery pack with people saying... I've got this here and that, and this is better than that, and blah, 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 blah. I get it. Your battery is probably 100 bucks cheaper and has this and that and the other thing, but okay. Lithium iron batteries are new. They're expensive no matter what. And PowerJack does sell these on their website. And uh, so you can get them now. They are expensive, especially when you're talking about importing them into the United States. Now, there's talk about me actually selling these on the website that I have, but that's not going to happen right at the moment. We're focused on other things. But yes, you can, in fact, get these. But anyway, so uh, yeah, that's how I do it. I use this charger to actually charge the batteries. And you can see I did a, I did a load test, actually, on this inverter. I got it all up to uh, maybe about 1,000 watts. It's a 1500 watt inverter. Got it up to about a thousand watts before it started barking at me that it was getting too hot. Um, by the way, this particular inverter will be on the Power Tank Inverter site as an open box item. Yes, plug plug. So you can check that out. Don't forget to go to the website um, to actually see the inverters that I have that are open box. Um, so. Anyway, enough about that. So that that's that's pretty much it for that. That's how I charge. This is a low amperage charger. Um, it's actually meant for battery banks that are less than 80 amps, 80 amp hours. This is 100 amp hours. I did contact Vmax about that, and they did say it would be okay. But typically, you just uh, for these lower amp chargers, you want to have a lower amp hour battery. But this will be fine. Um, so I've been really, really happy with this charger. Um, you know, when I really drain this thing, it usually takes about 20 hours to fully charge it. Again, I'm not too concerned. I only use it when I'm load testing 12 volt inverters and, um, I obviously don't load test it for too long. So there you have it. If you have any questions, definitely let me know. Make sure you head to that website, powertankinverter.com. That's where you will find... The power tank inverters, which will be going up for sale very soon here. You can actually see them on there. They're out of stock. As well as the open box power jack inverters that I actually bench test myself. I have them here. I bench test them. I make sure they work properly. You can see the details. Uh, this one is going up. And you get a pretty good discount just because cosmetically it has some dings, but it works perfect. So... Uh, if you have any questions, definitely let me know and head to that website if you want some great deals on some power jack inverters. Take care.